I saw a speaker's bureau advertising David Platt. His fees were ten to twenty thousand dollars. There wasn't anything for the six hundred and fifty thousand dollar donation to Radical, founded by David Platt. What that was for, we have no idea. Another one of those line items that just was never transparent to the congregation. Welcome to Barium Babs. I'm your host, Vali Chikuni. Today, we'll be discussing the real David Platt. There is an extended trailer that's out, and we're going to share it over here, okay? Who is David Platt? David Platt is, used to be a senior pastor of McLean Bible Church. He's no longer a senior pastor. He stepped down, okay? So, this is the documentary that's coming out in 2024. Here we go. David Platt, how much time do you have? <laughs> He's a very charismatic guy. If he was running for office, the first time you meet him, you feel like you want to vote for him like right away. When David Platt came to the church, I didn't know much about him. Well, at first, I really liked him. I mean, he was so personable. Very good at question deflection. He knows how to get you to respond emotionally to him. He gave Romans 8 word for word, and boy, it was impressive. The first sets of sermons had decent theological meat in them. But now, he wouldn't get past a hermeneutics 101 class. Hey, how are you? Hey, David. David Platt. Where are you going, David Platt? I think David Platt is weak. I think that David Platt is a coward. He is a false teacher. He is a wolf. Uh, he is a liar. Okay. So, these are, David, uh, these are ex-members of McLean Bible Church who sued David Platt. And... That case has been going back and forth, back and forth. I did uh, some videos, you know, in my archives. Be that as it may. So now they have decided to go to the court of public. Okay. They're putting the things public because most of the things were found in discovery when they went to court. This is not good. I, if you ask me, I, I suspect that David decided to step down and handed over the keys handed over the senior uh, position to Mike Casey at his church because he knew that this thing was coming down in the pipes and it's not good because these are actually the members who used to go to that church not just for months, for decades, for decades. But we continue. I'm like, mm, this is not good, okay? And let's continue. We've been lied to from the pulpit. We were lied to from David Platt. There's no doubt about it. He's in it for the money. He's a great actor. Blind spots. We all have them. David was teaching essentially CRT. And then I started thinking, am I part of the problem because I'm white? And I kept thinking, well, I must be misunderstanding because a pastor wouldn't say something wrong. Areas of our lives where we're deceived and we don't know it. Critical race theory preached from the pulpit. Critical race theory really kind of caused confusion for me. We have 106 different nations represented in McLean Bible Church. I've been there doing personal security work since 2012. I would take a bullet for anybody in that church, anybody. And you're going to turn around and say, I'm inherently racist? It's difficult for me uh, sometimes not to just torch like all white people because... So this guy is the one who is now the senior pastor of McLean Bible Church. So they handed it to him. So now this is the guy who replaced David Platt. And he actually said this publicly. And particularly white evangelicals and Christians. Mike Kelsey has been handpicked apparently by David to become the next lead pastor of McLean Bible Church. When David Platt took over the church, everything became very autocratic. Ministries were destroyed. They got rid of all of them. Nobody could give me assurances about support for the ministry. I mean, this is not, this is not good. Okay, this is not good. And this is just a trail. But the stuff that these people are saying because they were there, they witnessed this, it's not good. So I don't know. So far, no response for David Platt yet. I don't know if he'll be responding. But we continue. How is money being spent at this church and why are all these ministries being cut? I was seeing things that bothered me, that concerned me. They were out marching basically alongside Black Lives Matter. I want it. I want to be a part of disciples being made and churches being multiplied all over the place. Laura asked David Platt specifically if the church was affiliated with the Southern Baptist Convention, and he never answered the question. That was an easy question. Just imagine leading churches to multiply churches where we live and around the world. Our Constitution says we're not allowed to affiliate outside of being an independent Bible church. They just disregarded Article 1, Section 2, we will not affiliate with any denomination. 
We've got to make major changes in how we give. The thing about that article is it's immutable. I had written to the Board of Elders about many of these issues. So that is in reference to uh, the constitution of McLean Bible Church. They are not to be, they are not to affiliate with any type of ministry. So David Platt, when he joined there, uh, partnered with North American Mission Board, which is a Southern Baptist Convention entity that is responsible of planting churches. So David Platt, with his idea wanting to plant churches, so he partnered with the Southern Baptist. So thereby making his church a Southern Baptist. And yes, he did plant churches with the Southern Baptist. But when asked about it, he always says, no, no. But the documents, the papers are just there, as they say. <laughs> Numbers don't lie. <laughs> but we continue, we continue, we continue. Got a response just like everybody else. We have a 20 plus million dollar budget. If we were actually giving the way God is calling us to give, our budget would easily be two, three times that as a church. Just dream of all we can do. So Abby wakes me up in the middle of the night and she shows me a screenshot on her phone of McLean Bible Church is done in Bradstreet profile, which says that they were doing business as an SBC church. My name is John Leonard. I work for a firm called Finance and Evaluation Experts Incorporated. When we first got involved, we thought that the financial commitment between McLean Bible and the Southern Baptist was approximately $300,000, which is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but... 300000 wasn't even a drop in the bucket. Man, man, I don't know if David Platt has seen this, but this is not good. This is not good. And it doesn't look good that uh, this thing is coming out, he stepped down, he handpicked Mike Kelsey, and... You know, there's out there, he bought a house that's 1.5 million. He lives in Virginia, okay? So 1.5 million, that's, it's a nice house, but that's average cost of houses in that region. It's a very, very expensive area. These are public records, so things are coming out now. All right, there's nothing wrong in buying a house, but it's almost kind of like, okay, you, uh, in especially him, right? He always preached the things that he talked about in Radical and his church is going through all these things. People want to see the books. You don't want people to see the books and what's happening. Okay, you're able to do this. It's just like, ah, oh, it's not good. To explain how they explained why, you know, hundreds yeah. of thousands of dollars were just yeah. going from one place to another. <laughs> yeah. Chuck said, there's money flowing in all directions. He was like, it's flowing everywhere. This is the kind of boldness there is. And all right, we're going to make disciples. We're going to multiply churches. So don't we want to be a part of that here? They were effectively using their own parishioner money to expand the Southern Baptist Convention. What if you use that $10,000 now to support a church planner? Through these plantings, the Southern Baptist Convention was able to start pushing in tendrils into the McLean Bible Church's finances, leadership, and policies. The church had been the victim of a hostile takeover by the Southern Baptist Convention. July 4th, 2021, David went up into the pulpit and said, We have explained and have in writing from the SBC, we're not a member of the Southern Baptist Convention. David Platt, we know that's all a lie. I remember when the church sent that letter out to the congregation, seeing it, and thought it was an absolute joke. There's no way that guy wrote it. I don't know why he actually went in a pulpit and deny that he's not a member of the Southern Baptist, which is not true. He was a member of Southern Baptist. <laughs> I don't know why he actually denied this. Okay, he did plant churches with uh, with North American Mission Board. He was, okay? But I guess he knew that what he did wasn't up and up. He had to deny it, and he denied it on a pulpit, which is not true. Up to now, he hasn't come clean about it, despise all the paperwork that's out there as far as black and white and people actually did the investigation they called the southern baptist and yes it was listed as one of the southern baptist uh church okay this is at mclean bible church so david plaid hmm, we continue uh, it had to be somebody internal from, from McLean that wrote it, uh, and the discovery that actually turned out to be the case. From David Platt, it would be helpful if you could send a letter to our elders and copy me clarifying that MBC is included in the SBC church database purely for the sake of accounting purposes. It was drafted by David Platt, uh, the bullet points on what to say. I just felt cheated by them because, you know, they're lying. David Platt's proxies are running everything now in the church. 
And it seems like there was some work done to obscure the movement of money being bundled up through the McLean Bible Church to New City Network or any of these other auxiliary organizations. Sometimes coming back into the McLean Bible Church and then being cut back over to the Southern Baptist Conservatives of Virginia. I saw a Speaker's Bureau advertising David Platt. His fees were ten to twenty thousand dollars. One of the questions I asked was how much is in the budget for Radical? There wasn't anything for the $650,000 donation to Radical founded by David Platt. What that was for, we have no idea. Another one of those line items that just was never transparent to the congregation. How much rent is Radical paying to have offices in our building? There are too many large sums of money being floated through there. So Radical is, uh, is the personal ministry of David Platt. So according to what these members, ex-members are saying, there was money that was taken from the church to support the personal ministry of David Platt, which is radical. And he put out a book, Radical. Actually, you know, that book did well. So, again, this is not good, especially when money is involved. Especially when money is involved. Wait, there's more. They were denying their own members access to the financial records, which reflected those transactions. Raised this issue publicly, they were getting dismissed from the church. What happened to all these members? How were they purged? This happened to tons of people. And I wondered why they're challenging so many others who had been likewise members. These were very solid men of God. And those people I respected a lot, and all of a sudden they'd be gone. I kind of have a long fuse, but when I read this email kicking people out of the church... And it was sent, by the way, after we'd all asked financial questions. David Platt had said there was a small group of people trying to take over the church. Everybody come out, let's have this uh, election. We won an election and then they redid the election. And I went into the church lobby to vote. The girl got on the phone with somebody. They said to us, somehow your account's been made inactive. She comes back and says, you're not a member. I said, excuse me, I've been a member since 1961. I am an active leader. These are longtime members. These are the leaders of Discovering the Word. Teaching first grade boys and girls. The apologetics ministry. Wow. Okay. If you are a member of the church, you, you cannot just be kicked out. There needs to be a process. Either, you know, you went through church discipline, you never submitted to the leadership, there were reasons why you were kicked out. And, you, you know, the church is supposed to let you know, at least a letter, at least to inform you. Oh, we haven't seen you for two years. We assume you just left. We cannot just be having you on our membership role. We don't see you. But according to that guy, he's been a member of that church since 1961. That was even before David Platt was born. And the guy was just kicked out. We, I mean, whew. Men's Discipleship Ministry. I volunteered with special needs adults. Preparing for marriage. The praise team. Adoption, foster care. My voice has just been taken away. It was just so vibrant. They destroyed our church. We were threatened from the pulpit. Nobody better stand up or make a motion or talk or do anything. The security guy told us to stay in our seats and not disrupt. At every door into the sanctuary was a county police officer. And it felt like we were in another country under another government. I had no idea what SBC was. I didn't know that that meant the end of any control. We tried to have meetings with David Platt. We were denied. You guys can't even talk to me for five minutes? The founders of this church would be appalled. My parents would be appalled. And my father would be sitting here in this chair instead of me. We had to bring a lawsuit against the church to get answers to the finances. In response to these lawsuits, the church spent over $1 million to prevent document disclosures and the release of financial records. Now I want to non-suit it, which means withdraw it, but have the right to take this information and go public with it. And that will be the victory in this case. It's an effort to speak the truth. Before David Platt is even pastor at McLean Bible Church, he is working behind the scenes to deceive our elder board. Can we trust our leaders anymore? These guys are really afraid to let the truth out. Wow, man, that's a lot of stuff. And... What else is going to be in that uh, documentary? Because this is just an extended trailer, okay? The full documentary is coming 2024. I mean, and these are actually the actual members who sued uh, David Platt. So I guess that's what they've decided, just to withdraw and then just to go public with the information because now they've seen the numbers, right? Because they were compelled to show those numbers. And this is not a good look for David because he was a senior pastor and all these things happened under his watch. So, you know, the bug does stop with him. But this, you cannot be operating a church like this, okay? These are the results that happens when you start thinking that you are, quote-unquote, the CEO of a church, okay? There's a reason why the scripture... Uh, uh, talks about multiple elders, okay? 
and it's not like he didn't have over there elders, but he, he, you know, hey, <laughs> hey, take over spirit that happened over there. But man, this is, this is not good. Okay, no. Um, I've prayed so much about it and asked for the truth to come out, but I just can't even imagine what's behind it. There is something bigger at play going on. What are we hiding? Are they cooking the books? You think, how, how did I miss something so obvious? This is just the beginning of the light being shown upon the Plain Bible Church and David Platt. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be made known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in your private room shall be proclaimed on the housetops. Outside this church, coordinated a divisive effort to use disinformation. That was a lot to take in. Let me say it again. A small group of people inside and outside this church coordinated a divisive effort to use disinformation. So it's coming 2024 and he did say that on a pulpit. I guess accusing uh, these you know the members who are brought in the lawsuit so now everything they're making things public the word is going out this is not good i have been to uh full disclosure i've been to mclean bible church we went for they have uh this thing is called a uh, secret church and i think it was in october so you go in and it's the whole night i mean like you know all the way up until midnight think it starts like at eight all the way after midnight so you're just praying you know like you're praying and you're praying for missionaries there's so many things that you're praying it was actually nice we enjoyed our experience and david preached uh he actually preached actually the entire bible okay so from genesis all the way to revelation and you know just uh, you know the themes in there it was nice we enjoyed it, it was just like okay this is uh it was wonderful and we actually say, you know what? We should actually go again um, the following year. I forgot what year that was. No, that when the following year came, no, we never went back. <laughs> we never went back. Okay, we never went back. I was just like, oh, wait a minute. There's so much stuff that's coming out of here. David, you know, the walkness, things of that nature. I was just like, oh, no, no not good. So, yes, McLean Bible Church has... You know the standards have gone down it's actually it's a beautiful church beautiful building you know beautiful building nice location um they have parking garage i mean they have everything over there they have schools you name it they have everything that building has everything and state-of-the-art equipment so it's not just um it's, it's not just a regular building okay it's not just a regular building so I can understand what these uh, members are saying. And if they've been there for that long and David Platt did all those things, yeah, you can see. But we're going to see uh, what happens in the documentary, what's going to be uh, put out. 2024 will be here. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this uh, David Platt situation, about this trailer, what you guys think, okay? We've done quite a video as far as David Platt is concerned about him preaching CRT. Those things are true. Him being affiliated with the Southern Baptist, those things are true. Saint is actually part of the Southern Baptist. Those things are true. The CRT, the wokeness, all those things are actually true as far as David Platt is concerned. And some of the elders there, including the, the senior pastor, who is a senior pastor now, Mike Casey. Those things are actually true. So these are the things that are out there, even in the public domain. So we're going to wait and see what these members are going to say in that documentary. All right, that is all that I had for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think about this documentary that's coming out. Leave me in comments below. Be sure to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Berean Babes. Until next time, remember to be in the know.